Good morning, remote learners. Today, I would like to make a project with you guys with a focus on Picasso and pets. I got it from an excellent book um, called Drawing Lab, and I've already made a few samples just to give you all a basic idea. So these are Picasso pets. Um, this is a fun one. So all you need is a piece of paper. I decided to make mine a uh, square format just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting compositionally and black sharpie. If you don't have a black sharpie, um, just a black pen, even a pencil would do. And then for color, whatever you have on hand. If you have watercolors, cool. If you have markers, cool. Colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have, use it. So let's do this thing. First thing you want to do is draw an eyeball. Eyeball. Then you turn your page 90, deg 90 degrees clockwise and you draw another eyeball. Let's make this one a lot bigger than the first one just to kind of mix it up and mess around with proportions. Second eye eyeball, voila. I'm going to turn my page 90 degrees clockwise again, and I'm going to draw a snout. You could draw a nose, a snout, a snout nose, um, whatever you would like to do. Maybe throw in some nostrils. Nose done. I'm going to turn my page 90 degrees clockwise again, and I'm going to draw uh, a paw, a foot, a leg, a hand. I am going to draw what looks like a dinosaur paw, okay? I'm going to turn my page 90 degrees clockwise again, and I'm going to draw a tail. Easy breezy. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take all of my elements, all of my features, and I'm going to connect them together using either curvy line or straight line. I, for some reason, am hooked on curvy lines right now, so I'm going to be working with curves. Voila. Now, it's time to party with color. And like I said earlier, you know, uh, colored pencils, Sharpies, markers, crayons, watercolor, whatever you have. Um, I am lucky that I uh, brought home some watercolors from school so I could do these demos. So I have watercolors here. Um, one trick when you're using watercolor is if you add water to your palette before you start working with them, I usually take some water and kind of dribble it on, it'll kind of loosen up that color and make it easier to paint with. So I think I'm also going to do an outline around this eyeball. Got this crazy orange kick in. I'm gonna come in green. I'm feeling green. Maybe a green eyeball here. Maybe some green foot pads. On my dinosaur paw. I'm gonna switch it up and add some blue. Ooh, I'm going to do blue for the inside where I connected all of my elements. Okay. What I like about this project is that it's much more process-oriented than final piece-oriented, meaning you can kind of let go because you're not worrying about how it looks in the end. You're worried about the fun that it is while you're creating it. Plus, it will look pretty cool. Whoop. Kick in with my blue. I'm going to come in with purple. And then I think I'm going to call it a day. All right. Picasso pet. Oh, one thing you might want to think about doing um, is creating some kind of a simple border with paint. 
Um, I do this because now instead of spending, let's say two or three dollars on a mat at Michael's or your local art store, although they need business and so maybe you should, um, I have kind of created my own makeshift mat. Um, when this is dry, I would probably go back in with markers, colored pencils, um, crayons, what have you, just to kind of spice it up a little bit, add some texture, add some patterns. Uh, but that's essentially it. So, Picasso Pets, I hope you guys are having a fun and good day and that you are not too stressed and overwhelmed with your coursework. And I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, make art every day.